Hi. Welcome to Lectures Training on Sunday Readings. Today we'll prepare for the readings of May 30, the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. First, some tips from our reference books. In the first reading, establish who is speaking, then pose the questions as much to your assembly as Moses did to his. To be effective, these rhetorical questions need to beg for an answer. The ones in ast with asterisks are the questions. Although delivered with energy and heightened tempo, you mustn't run together the specifics of Moses' list. These are what God did for his people. Slow your tempo and focus on compassion and gratitude as motives for obedience, this part. Prosperity, even life itself, depend on the fidelity to God's law. First reading. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth. Ask from one end of the sky to the other. Did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God? speaking from the midst of fire as you did and live? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors? all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below and that there is no other you must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving you forever. The Word of the Lord Response Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth all their host. For he spoke, and it was made. He commanded, and it stood forth. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death, and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The second reading proclaims the great news that we are children of God. With sustained eye contact, our tone should be convincing. 
Declare the first line and then pause. Speak in a solicitous tone. Emphasize the reference to the Spirit, especially because we are celebrating Holy Trinity Sunday. Stress that if we suffer, we will also be glorified. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Join me again next week for the readings of June 6, the Solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ. Until then, goodbye and God bless. Happy Holy Trinity Sunday. Bye.